It is a terrible illness and we're not making light of it. But the thing about um, Breast Cancer Campaign, they're a research charity and they're, they're looking to find a cure for cancer. But it's uh, totally voluntarily funded. You know, it's, there's no funding from the government. And so things like Wear It Pink is a, a fun way to raise money for very much needed funds for research, but also to have a good time. And so for two pounds, if you go to school wearing pink or you go to work wearing pink or you ask your teacher to wear pink for two pounds, you can have a pink tea party um, and, and, and have some fun out of, you know, make, helping to research into this terrible illness. Breast Cancer Awareness Month, nobody knows your body like yourself. Look in the mirror, feel yourself, touch yourself, and, f and if there's anything that I isn't normally there, then go to the doctor. And there is a website, actually, that you can get in touch. It's uh, wearitpink.co.uk, and there's also a telephone number, 0800 107 3104, and they will um, send you a package telling you all the things to do. There will be balloons, stickers, uh, posters and they'll give you tips on how to uh, arrange things and have a have a really good successful time. Well, I'm nearly 5 years down the line now and my breast cancer was aggressive and um I was stage 3 and the, my lymph nodes were infected, 11 out of 14 were infected. I was very lucky. I am ashamed to say that I left it a little bit when I found the lump and when I realized that within myself I knew it wasn't going to be great news I left it for two months and thought I have to finish this contract and you know not only for the people that had employed me and 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 the people that had paid the tickets but financially as well it was like if I finish this then I because I knew I'd have to have time off and um, and I waited and so I think that's why Mine became such a major surgery and, but I am a survivor because I'm here, I'm living proof that, you know, it, it's, if you, if you go and uh, I would say to anybody, the minute you find a lump, don't wait around, just go. I know it's a scary proposition, but if it is cancer, you cannot, it won't go away. The thing is, if you don't have a, a supportive family the way we do, you know, not everybody has a big family or a husband that's as supportive as, as mine was or Bernie's is or Anne's was, um, then there's a lot of a lot of the charities. I mean, I, I'm, I'm speaking for um, Breast Cancer Campaign, but a lot of the charities do offer help and support in the fact if you phone, they'll give you places to go, the Macmillan nurses, your own GP will advise you. And the thing about sitting at home worrying that I have a lump and it could be cancerous, it's worrying you, it's stressing your head out. You need to go and either way you will find out and then you'll be on the road to recovery. It is a scary disease, you know, I'm not making light of it. It's very frightening, it's very scary. But you know, 20, 30 years ago, it was a death sentence. And now because of research, you know, with charities like Breast Cancer Campaign, which is looking for a cure to breast cancer. Because of, of charities like that, we're, here we are, and, and people talk about it much more, and, um, and they're more aware, and the amount of survivors from cancer is a testament to the charity itself. <laughs> So remember, Friday the 29th of October, wear it pink for Breast Cancer Campaign.